Hi folks, Urgelt here. America has a weight problem. At least 20% of Americans are clinically obese, and the percentage is climbing every year. And the way America tries to deal with its weight problem is through dieting. This is our common understanding that dieting is how you lose weight. We spend billions of dollars every year on dieting, and we throw ourselves into it with great passion and effort. But does it work? If you research the scientific literature, you'll find that most scientific studies conclude that dieting does not work. In one very large study, for example, within two years of dieting, 85% of the dieters had returned to their pre-diet weight or they were heavier. And by 10 years, less than 2% had kept the pounds off. What this means is that if you are trying to achieve a weight goal through dieting, you may temporarily succeed, but in the long run, you will almost certainly fail. What you are really doing is entering a seesaw of weight loss and weight gain that is very harmful to your body. Don't believe me? Google this. Does dieting work? I wish I'd known this 30 years ago, but I can't turn back the clock. All I can do is go forward. Here's what I'm doing. Google this. Weight loss lifestyle. There is a method that works, and it's called lifestyle change. I didn't invent it. I'll be describing my own approach to it. Perhaps it will give you some ideas you can use. First, I had to establish what my body needs every day to maintain a healthy weight. It's not enough to be lazy and just skip meals. I tried that for years. That's dieting, and dieting doesn't work. To design my lifestyle change, I began by seeing my doctor, who established a normal daily caloric range for me based on my height, gender, and age. For me that range is 1600 to 1800 calories a day. It will probably be different for you. The next step was to identify the specific foods and supplements I would include in my daily food intake to meet my nutritional needs. Selecting the foods and supplements for my lifestyle was the hard part. You can see a doctor or nutritionist if you need help with that. Now all I needed to do was to stock up on the right foods and supplements and begin eating them. I did that. It took a few months to get used to this new lifestyle and to eliminate foods that are not on my food intake list. I had to eliminate some foods I really like and it was hard. But I got the job done. I was just so sick of seeing my weight go down and back up again that I was willing to do it. Now to lose weight, I have to come in slightly under my normal caloric range every day. My normal range is 1600 to 1800, so I want to stay within about 1400 to 1600 calories a day to lose weight. If I go a little over 1600 once in a while, it's not harmful. But it's a bad idea to drop much below 1400. That would be dieting. And dieting, remember, does not work. As long as I'm close to my normal caloric range, and as long as I'm choosing healthy foods on my lifestyle list and taking appropriate supplements, I feel no cravings. My body's needs are being met every day. And I do lose weight. Using this approach, I've lost 40 pounds in the last 18 months. 
I feel no cravings, I don't have a desire to binge, it's not making me sick, and best of all, it's not going to go back up again. Because I'm not doing anything temporary. I'm just eating healthy food. And that's what a lifestyle change means. The Journal of the American Medical Association recommends that if you are going to lose weight, you should not lose more than one pound in a week. Any weight loss that is faster is much more likely to cause harm to you and you probably won't be able to keep the pounds off. Let's review. 1. For the vast majority of people, dieting does not work. It probably will not work for you. 2. It will take a lifestyle change to make a permanent change in your weight. That means you can't get instant gratification. It's going to take some time. But you can get lasting gratification if you make permanent changes to your eating lifestyle. Thank you for watching.